Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about viewing and editing metadata in ArcGIS. Like we said before, metadata serves to store descriptive, administrative, and structural information about spatially related data. ArcG Arc Catalog serves as a metadata editor, but metadata can also be viewed in ArcMap using the item description or another type of viewer that you wish to use. You can see in this particular map here, I have proposed locations for sensor networks along NCDOT assets. I have a GIS data layer here called AADT Traffic Monitors. If I right mouse click, I've got my contacts menu that allows me to copy, remove, open attribute table, but down towards the bottom, you can I see data, export to CAD, or view item description. I can open up this item description and it gives me a very brief summary about this particular layer here. So this is ADT, it gives me some of the years, it gives me a summary, a description of those, and it looks like it gives me some of the attribute information as well as some of the spatial reference information and the applicable skills that were entered in by the metadata steward at one point in time. I can change this around a little bit. Going to customize, arc map options and metadata, but we're gonna focus on this in arc catalog. In our catalog, we can go to different options and metadata to determine how metadata is viewed, exported, and validated. Now, I'm going to open up a particular data layer here, and I'm looking at NC Camden Parcels Poly 2016-0525. This GIS data layer represents parcels for Camden County, North Carolina. I can look at the geography of this. I can look at all the attributes here. So I can look at my geography, my attributes in the bottom right. You can see my northing and easting in terms of feet. I assume this is be going to be using the North Carolina State Plain Projection. In description, this gives me the metadata information about this particular feature here. So under Customize, Art Catalog Options, under the Metadata tab, I can look at the metadata style. This style determines how metadata is viewed exported and validated and which pages appear when editing metadata. So when I go to this drop down, there's multiple ways that I can view this metadata. I can click on item description, which we just saw over in arc map. And it gives me very bare bones information. It gives me a summary, a description, the credits, any of use limitations or distribu uh, distribution liabilities, the extent and the scale range. These are only a few entries because typically your you know, regular GIS data user, they're gonna care about you know, information like this, whether they were doing keyword searches or extent searches or, or whatnot. So your very basic GIS user will wanna look at this information. However, when we go back to customize our catalog options, there are other types of ways that we can view it. We have the EPA metadata editor. I'll talk about that later with metadata, uh, different types of metadata viewers and editors. We have the FGDC CSDGM, the content standard for digital, ge digital geospatial metadata, the Inspire metadata directive, which is typically used in Europe, and that's based off the um, ISO 19139, which is the metadata schema implementation. The EPA metadata editor supports the ISO 19115 and ArcGIS metadata. We have the ISO 19139 metadata directive specification with GML 3.2 and the North American profile of ISO uh, 19115 uh, for 2003. So there are different ways that we can view this. So if I click on FGDC metadata, I'll click apply. I might have to move over on another layer here and then go back. Now for this particular feature, you can see all the multiple features or multiple entries that I can add. Like I said before, there's more than 400 individual elements that specify a complete or robust metadata entry. So there's more than 400 of these elements. Now some of these are going to be auto-populated from the from the software itself, whether we're looking at spatial extent um, or you know, east-west extent, this won't be entered in by the user at all. You know, other information about the attributes, which is somewhere down here, other information about the particular attributes right here, some of these will be entered in by the users, others, uh, others will not. We're working with some sort of um, 
geodatabase generators such as FDS, FIE, they might put in this description source here. And actually towards the bottom or all the way at the bottom, all the way at the bottom we can see the FGDC metadata uh, and the ArcGIS metadata that's uneditable because we'll talk about editing in a little bit here. Okay. So there's different types of metadata, uh, met metadata standards that we can view using this one particular viewer here. Okay. There's going to be multiple differences. Okay. We have the ArcGIS metadata that we can view using our, basically using our editor here. And there's some differences between that and the FGDC. You know, for example, in the CSDGM, the content standard for digital geospatial metadata, it includes distribution information for online computer and operating system elements um, that's not supported by CSDGM, where that your ArcGIS does support that. So we can view different types of elements here, okay? And to be honest with you, most of these metadata standards are pretty much one and the same, but some are going to have other required elements, slightly different, slightly different types of entries, but for the most part, they're going to include all types of descriptive, distribution, administrative, and structural information about the actual GIS data layer. Okay. Other things that we can do. If I go to Customize, Art Catalogs Options with Metadata, I can click on my Contents. If I click on Contents, I can check some of these buttons here like Size, Feature Type, Number of Features, or whatever I want, and click Apply. And then when I go over to Contents, you can see these have been highlighted. So I can look at my name, my type, my size. So even if I don't want to click on, even if I don't want to go through this large metadata editor here, I can click on the contents and look at some very basic information about it right here. So you can see it, the date it was a, the date it was modified, the size of it. So this is in Customize, Art Catalog Options. Um, I can click on some of these in the bottom here. Click Apply. Click on it. Click off of it. So you can see there's 7,337 individual features here in this particular layer. Um, this is the project uh, projected coordinate system. Um, this is the geographic coordinate system that it uses. So a lot of interesting information that we have in here, very periphery information if we don't want to go through and extract the actual metadata itself. When we go to actually edit the metadata itself, the metadata editor is somewhat different. Previous versions, versions before your ArcGIS 10.0 were VBA based, and I believe this current one is based on your web ADF platform, so they're going to look a little bit different. In addition, the divisions of metadata are slightly different than previous versions of metadata editors. So if I want to go and actually edit this metadata, I'll be editing it in whatever format or whatever standard that I asked for. So if I click on exit and I go to Art Catalog Options, Metadata. Instead of looking at my CSDGM, I just look at the item description. Okay, so this is, so now when I look at my item description, these are the only entries in my item description that I can edit. So there's not 400 individual elements here. There's only about five or six that I can edit here in my item description. So I go to Customize. Art Catalog Options, and maybe I'll look at this ISO 19139 Metadata Implementation Specification. I'll click off of it, click back on it, and then I can go all the way to the bottom. You can see the FGDC metadata at the bottom, which is typically going to be read-only. Now, like I was saying before, prior, prior versions of metadata editors were broken into seven major divisions of metadata as per the CSDGM. And those are ID information, data quality information, spatial data organization, spatial reference, entity and attributes, distribution, and metadata reference. And typically all metadata styles provided with the current version of ArcGIS for desktop other than item description are designed to support specific metadata standards or profiles. So these metadata styles, whether it's the you know, the CSDGM or the ISO 19139 or the EPA metadata that we'll look at, they include rules about the elements that are required to create met metadata that complies with those particular standards.
Okay? And like we looked at before, editing the item description will only allow you to edit tags, summary, description, and credits. So it's a very, very small periphery metadata editor that allows you to look at that individual information. So if I were to click on edit, and this will be the last thing that I do, you can see it has the overview, the metadata, and the resource information for edit editing these. I see some X's here, and we'll talk about, if we look at some of these X's, it, it's either a conformance result or quantitative result is required. So you can see, even in this ISO 19139, it starts to do some very basic validation for, you, for me here. My topics and keywords, it'll tell me at least one date is required. So it'll tell me that where particular date is required here. Okay, so we have our different keywords you know, with your 19139. There's specific keywords that it asks for, and that those will align with our North Carolina state and local government profile. So under my item description, I can look at my summary. If any of these change, I can edit these. Okay, so say my contacts manager. You know, you, you can see my contacts contacts manager who is here, my citation everything that I can put in here okay. and I'll just do you know I'll change the item description real here that the summary I can just type this you know this is used for metadata training and when I'm done with this I can click Save and you can see the summary has been changed in here okay. so I can go and edit these where appropriately Later, we'll talk about how to import templates, export templates, and in particular, I have tutorials on how to programmatically export particular metadata tags, you know, whether it's description, credits, use information, uh, use limitations, to CSV files, so we can start to look at meta-metadata, information about the metadata.